when I had my last injury, that was 2019. And I was kind of really thinking, okay, damn, I, I don't know if I can come back to that level, but I think what helped me or what I can take with me from this time is that I I'm improved mentally in a lot of ways. And I know what I need to be, um, like healthy right now that's things that I didn't know before so I think that helped me a lot but it was a hard time I went through depression and um, a lot of people even doctors all the, all of them probably um, told me that I should stop um, playing and I just realized that football means so much to me when I played um, I was traveling and I played with a group of women and it, it was like not a high level but I felt like that's that's what I why I actually started is because I have so much fun playing football and then I could take this um, back to, to Zurich and, and trying to um, find this joy again, because I feel like football is something we have to enjoy also. And um, I learned so much about injuries, so much about prevention. And um, that's why I think I could have I could start it again, um, my career kind of, because I was really at the point where I was thinking, yeah, um, why why should I come back with like all of what happened but in the same time when you something when you want something then you can get it and you can find a way to to come back and honestly I'm enjoying football right now much more than before and I feel like um yeah everything happens for a reason and I I take those injuries always I always remind myself um of this time because I think it helps me to be humble and also to get like strength out of it and obviously you obviously would have had to have a lot of, of medical treatment for your injuries and stuff like that. Do you think the women's game is still lacking in that area compared to, to say, if a, if a men's player got that sort of injury, do you think their recovery would be a lot easier? Yeah, 100%. I feel like at that time I was in Switzerland and I, I honestly, I had to do everything by myself, um, get the people I need to to come back from an athletic coach to a physio to uh, mental coaches and everything. And I invested a lot uh, um, financially into into that, which um, I think a male football player at that time would not have done this or would not have, have to do it because um, the club is already having the structure for it. So um, I think that's also something that I think yeah, it has to be definitely better. You, you mentioned you had some mental problems during that period as well. Do you think that's that's just equally as important? Exactly. I think it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I think that's something we have to speak more about. We have to speak more about with it with like young players too, that they already know, hey, it can happen. It's it's part of the part of the job also. But um being alone at this time, having no support is probably the worst thing you can do. Um, also in a human way, because I feel like it's traumatizing when you know that you just, yeah, you you didn't mean everything for the club when you're when you're hundred percent fit, but when you're injured, it's just like, yeah, we wait until you come back. And I think, um, that's what I think also in the men, men's football is just like it it lacks a little bit uh, of human uh, humanity. Um, is that the word? Yeah um that we yeah and the social competence that we keep the player close to the team and help them out